Air Canada Centre here in Toronto. 2-1. To Tonight's first intermission is brought to you by Ford. Drive one. Brett Levda joins Mike Zygamanis and Christopher Stieg as Stanley Cup winners the past three years who have joined the Maple Leafs this past offseason. Brett's main goal these days is to get better from a shoulder problem and get back in the lineup. guys there they keep you down in uh, you know until you're ready until they think you're ready and then uh, when they do move you up you have guys like Lidstrom and I had Chelios and Rafalski guys like that to learn from and, and bounce things off of and uh, you know really develop a sense of uh, you know how to get along in this NHL game. I spent uh, four or five years with him and I don't know what makes him tick still and he's just one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in the game and uh, you know the things that he taught me uh, not only on the ice but uh, you know how to be a professional off the ice is uh, you know invaluable to me and you know I take that experience as, uh, as one that uh, I'm going to put forth in my pro career. It's unbelievable to win it. I think, uh, you know, it's something that you strive for in your career and, and you want so bad and when you get it, it's pretty surreal. But uh, I don't know if uh, losing in game seven is, uh, you know, I don't know if that's as bad as uh, bad you can get as the good as the good you can get. So, you know, it was two totally different ends of the spectrum and uh, you know it hurt it hurt real bad to lose that game seven to, to put all that work into it and especially you know trying to put back to back cups and you know it, it hurt deep down inside and uh, you know but we had a good team we had a good run and uh, you know it's something that I'll never forget either one of them. It was amazing it showed up uh, you know early afternoon and just you know we got to spend some time with it as a family and we shared it with uh, the kids at the local ice rink in my hometown, and uh, and then we took it and just uh, had a, had a little get together with friends and family, and you know just to see people's faces when they see that thing. You know, a lot of people haven't seen it in person, and to see it when uh, you know it's close up and they can touch it and they can drink out of it, it's uh, you know it makes you feel good inside too that you can share with something something like that with them. You know, it was kind of, it was the all-important seventh one in a seven to one win. So, um, it just came around the boards and I kind of just threw it on net and got a lucky bounce. So, it was something that, uh, you know, I'll always remember and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something, it's a good story you can tell people when you scored your first goal in your first NHL game. It's something I'm proud of. One of the most amazing uh, experiences besides winning the cup, uh, that I've been through as a hockey player and so, you know, as a Cubs fan growing up to be able to play at Wrigley and, and uh, you know, just go out there and spend time in, uh, you know, the locker rooms and, and being around some of the Cubs players that were at the game, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So it was something I'll never forget and something I'll cherish uh, as a memory going along. Well, it's great uh, to see Brett Lebda in Toronto and Bob, we're hoping he's going to